You're watching Vinyl at Puma Gaming. What's up guys, back with another Fallout 4 video, and today I figured I would talk about a really cool mod that I think some of you guys would be interested in, and it's simply called BL Guns, and it's by Nexus user Tricky Vane. Now, as far as I'm able to tell, this mod is only available on Nexus mods for PC, however I think if you politely message Tricky Vane, you might be able to convince him to port his mod to Xbox One and Bethesda.net if you're using Bethesda.net on PC. So for those of you that mostly just watch the Fallout videos, this mod is based off of guns that appear in the very first Borderlands game that was released in 2009 and was developed by Gearbox Software. Now, if you've played Borderlands, Borderlands 2, or even the pre-sequel, you'll know that Borderlands is basically what you would get if you crossed Diablo 2 or 3 with a first-person shooter, as Borderlands is a loot-based first-person shooter RPG and is sort of known as being one of the first major entries in the genre. Of course, there are several other games that are a part of that genre, like Destiny and The Division. But I digress. I think Tricky Vane's ultimate goal is to try and reproduce every single gun and weapon from the original Borderlands. However, for right now, he's mostly focused on trying to perfect revolvers, and this mod mostly just includes most of the non-unique revolvers from the very first game. So you're not going to be seeing guns like the Malawan Mad Jack, the Atlas Ares, the TDR Equalizer, or the Atlas Chimera. You'll also find that if you approach a workbench, you can modify your revolvers to be Hyperion, SNS Munitions, and Torg, and these didn't actually appear in the original Borderlands. Uh, regardless though, it is cool that you can do this. The Torg revolver with explosive tech looks really sinister and badass, but I digress once again. For those of you that haven't played Borderlands, each manufacturer has different attributes, and those are somewhat reflected here. Hyperion is typically the most accurate, Jacobs has the highest damage, Dahl has the best recoil, TDOR is the cheapest to purchase, SNS Munitions has the best magazine size, and Atlas is typically really well balanced and above average. Torg weapons are explosive weapons like they are in Borderlands 2, uh, hence Tricky Vane's indications in the workbench menu, and the Malawan weapons excel with elemental tech, and whether it's shock, cryo, fire, corrosive, or explosive. The type of manufacturer that you get appears to be locked to what would normally be Fallout 4's grip, and changing the manufacturer or grip value does change the gun's performance. What's also cool about this mod is that Tricky Vane has added an accessory customization that can be changed at any workbench in Fallout 4. So if you wanted to, you could get a random Borderlands style revolver to drop from an enemy and take it to a workbench so that you can modify it into whatever you want. So let's say you get a fairly standard revolver. The workbench will allow you to turn it into a cryo elemental revolver with better magazine size, you could also turn it into a bladed melee style revolver for slightly better bash damage, and you can also turn your revolver into a quasi shotgun revolver, also known as a masher that fires six fairly accurate projectiles as opposed to just firing one. So even if you're someone that just wants to play around with this gun mod, you could simply download it, spawn one into your game with console commands, and you can have fun performing various customizations and modifications to your guns. Tricky Vane has also included a special holotape called the Echo PCD. Uh, of course, that's reminiscent of the Echo Communicator from the original Borderlands, Borderlands 2, and the pre-sequel. And what this allows for is for random enemies to more regularly carry Borderlands-style weapons, as opposed to a lot of Fallout 4 stock weapons. And ideally, you just use the holotape, and it allows you to configure whether you want loot explosions or not, and whether you want to integrate the Borderlands revolvers uh, in the regular weapon lists. Now, to be honest, I've had mixed results with this particular feature, uh, though it's possible that it's just my character save, uh, it could be my mod load order, or something else entirely. After checking this mod's main page, it does seem like some users are having issues, while others are able to get everything working just fine. Even still, it's going to be really cool when Tricky Vane gets around to adding other weapons in the game. 
even if he wasn't able to add any of the unique weapons, the ability to just have weapons like combat rifles, machine guns, SMGs, snipers, repeater pistols, and even some of the rocket launchers is going to really make this mod come alive. Now I do have some critiques that I would like to discuss with you guys. Unfortunately, when you inspect weapons with or without the elemental capacitor in your Pip-Boy, you can't see the glowing color that you're normally supposed to get. However, if you have the weapon equipped in hand, you can see the elemental capacitor glow in the proper color. Now, I don't really create mods for Fallout 4, and I can't really say for sure why this is happening, but it would be really nice if you could get the elemental tech to glow while you're inspecting the weapons. Now, Tricky Vane does mention that he's working on figuring out what is causing this, and it's likely that it will eventually be fixed in future revisions. Going along with that, what would also be nice is if you could tell what rarity the weapon was while you were inspecting it as well. Though again, and as I said earlier, I'm not sure how you would go about doing this. Uh, what I can say is that right now, in order to find out what rarity your gun is, you have to drop the gun in question. And if you have multiple revolvers, it's going to be very difficult to find the specific weapon, especially if you have weapons from the same manufacturer and they are of the same rarity. As a side note, what would actually be a really good mod is if weapons could have like an item card mod. So if you were to look at a weapon that you were about to pick up in the game, sort of like Borderlands, it would show all of the weapon's stats, what kind of damage it has, uh, its fire rate, reload speed, and all of that, but it would show it right next to the gun as you were looking at it as you were about to pick it up. And I think if you had this, you could probably better indicate what the rarity was or something like that would work. Um, but again, that could also be a really good general mod for Fallout 4's um, basic weapons as well. Something else that would be nice is if you could convert all of the Borderlands revolvers to use ammo that weapons frequently use in normal Fallout 4. Uh, right now, revolvers use the specific revolver ammo, which is both difficult to find, and unless you use console commands, you're pretty much out of luck with finding it, especially if you're having trouble with like the loot explosions and having the revolver weapons integrate into enemy level lists or their weapon lists or whatever. It would just be nice to be able to use 44 ammo, 308 ammo, and maybe even 38 ammo for the revolvers. And I also think this would benefit combat rifles as well once they're added, as it would be nice if you could use like 45 caliber, 556 caliber, and 762 as options. What I do think is impressive though is how well Tricky Vane was able to capture the aesthetic of the guns from the very first Borderlands and apply it to Fallout 4. Everything from weapon sights to the actual look and feel of the guns themselves is just very impressive. It literally looks like these guns were plucked right out of Borderlands and put into Fallout 4, and they really do look great. Um, according to some of the posts on the Nexus page for the specific mod, Tricky Vane is currently working on combat rifles, and I've got to say that I'm curious to see how he's going to implement these into Fallout 4, especially when it comes to the differences between single shot, burst fire, and then of course fully automatic machine guns. Something I do suspect will be extremely hard, if not impossible, is to emulate some of the unique weapons that appear in the very first Borderlands. Um, as far as revolvers go, it's going to be really interesting to see how he replicates the Mad Jack's projectile pattern or the Atlas Ares revolver's transfusion orbs. Um, but at the same time, it's probably going to be pretty easy to get something like the Atlas Chimera uh, to work pretty well, as he's already got the corrosive, shock, and fire uh, elemental tech variants uh, on point. I think with a couple more additions, BL guns could become one of the best Borderlands mods for Fallout 4. All we really need now is damage numbers, and once we've got that, I mean, it's literally going to be like we are playing Borderlands, but in Fallout 4. Um, now, maybe some damage numbers mods already exist, and if you guys want, you can link those in the comments section, and I'll link one in the description. 
But anyway, guys, I highly recommend that you respectfully get in contact with Tricky Vane and tell him how much you like this particular mod if it's something you're interested in. Uh, while I think Tricky said that he has plans on porting this mod to Xbox One, it certainly wouldn't hurt to tell him that you would like that to happen. I also hope that Tricky Vane is able to finish this mod, as it is very ambitious. Uh, Borderlands 1 has an insane amount of weapons, and porting every unique weapon alone seems like it would take an extremely long time. Also, getting the skins right on the unique revolvers from Borderlands 1 may just take a while by itself. But regardless, this is a mod that I definitely recommend that you check out. It came out at the very beginning of February or February 2017, which is this month, and I've got to say that I'm very glad that I downloaded it. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.